Hey, look, he's so guilty. I'm not looking guilty. You look guilty. What have you done? Nothing. Just measuring rope. Hello. What? I'm just having a rope um, quandary. So, um, our boat has these brass boat paint protectors on either side for the rope centre line to go through, which means you have to have two centre lines. And we had, to, so we bought this bit of rope here when we were noobs and didn't measure. And it's 18 metres, which is way too long. Because look how much I've got left on the floor. Which is just dangerous. Yeah. So we're going to go to the boat centre. We're not sure how many metres to get. Yeah, so from here it would be about 10 metres. And I don't even think that that's long enough. Because if I wanted to be hooked around a bollard up high. But I, I still always have that much. So if I've got tw 11 metres, it would be that long. I think 11 metres is good. Because that's not going to get caught in a prop. Yeah, okay. Oops. Woven in. So you just feed it through like that. Oh, both of them. And then that goes through your centre hook. Oh, okay. So we we'll get rid of this mouldy one. The first thing that happens is the rope gets fed into this mechanical length measuring unit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like lining it up so there's no stress or strain on it. So it's a nice even rope. Okay, so that's going to be a 12 right there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark this off. Masking tape is used to mask off the 12 meter section and then a heat gun is applied to burn through the ropes. The gun this is uh, heating up at the moment, oh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to touch it and I'm just going to actually use the, now don't breathe this in, this, doesn't, this isn't my stuff, but I'm actually just using the gun, I'm not sawing or anything, I'm just going to let it, the gun do the work. In actual fact, there was my experience, the best thing to do is to stop halfway through, let that, um, it, obviously as this is melting plastic, that is going to seal itself. So I'm going to come back and just cut through these, because this is where we're going to have to do the gun slice. This technique is repeated again, but in this case we want the strands of rope to remain singular, because we're going to create our loop. The trick with the ropes is don't rush. If you rush and they split, you've just got to do it again, you know, and then it takes twice as long. So just, there you go, that's all, that's your ends, nice. basically sealed, ready for the next bit. As a matter of um, professionalism, we always make sure that the, we use completely seal both ends. And in fact, what I'm going to show you in a second, I'm going to do this one, let it cool, and then I'll show you. As you're interested, okay. Right. When you first cut it, yeah. Can you feel the edges on that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. Well, that's that's still a little bit on the warm side, but yeah. feel feel the difference on those edges. Yeah? Oh yeah, they're a lot yeah? softer. So yeah. that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to seal your end. To make the eye, you have to first open the end up so that you have your three strands. In a, in your head, label these like one, two, three. All right. Now, the reason we make quite a big eye is because in actual fact, you never drop the eye over like that. What you do is you actually use the eye to make a loop like that, right. and then that tightens up, yeah. okay? Yeah. All right, now I'm not gonna do that at the moment because obviously I'm just trying to get, get the eye done. So that's the reason I'm gonna go for an eye about that sort of length. So obviously you want to make sure it's not kinked or anything. And then, so I'm gonna pick the first one up and just pass it through there. Mm. like so okay i'm not going to pull it tight at the moment this is now number two and number two goes through this again what would be number two there and then the easiest way to do the third one is to turn it on its back 
and then just take that through like that, okay? This whole plaiting process was repeated until there wasn't rope left at the end. Uh, Kath got the hang of it really quickly and I got the hang of watching it really quickly. It is quite systematic and routine and um, a little bit therapeutic. You do have to have quite strong thumbs to accomplish it to a high standard. What have you got? Two ropes. And I have a chimney. And we're walking away from Uxbridge Boat Centre. Yeah. And that lady was fantastic. Lady, you're fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just unwinding my new rope. Just removing this rope. <coughs> oh, sweat. Oh, went in the water. Everything they tell you not to do. Oh, that's why we didn't take it off last time. Because it's swollen. This might be the time I go in. <laughs> we have to cut it. Well, we know how to reweave it. Mm. What we eventually did here was looped, cut the old rope off, then looped through one of the new ropes and just did another loop off of the, that first loop. So one loops through the eye and the other one is attached to the, the rope and then they go across the boat into the brass holders. We're quite pleased with them. We haven't had to use them yet. It's great. So thanks for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed, then please give us a like and subscribe for more videos.